just waiting on my moment. I'm just waiting on my moment. Shout out to the trappers. I'm just waiting on my moment. I'm just waiting on my moment. This shit beautiful. You just gotta try, cause it ain't too late. Listen, I'm, I'm going to take a, a mean left turn real quick. Real quick. Because I got you here. Heard you. You want everybody in Mount Rushmore. What is Murder Mook's Mount yeah. Rushmore? You can put yourself Damn, in. Damn, You said I can't? I said you can put yourself on it. But I just want to know what Murder Mook's yeah. Mount Rushmore is. Me, uh, Lux. Uh, me, Lux, Rex, and it's 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 tricky. It's it's between Hollow, Verb. It's between Hollow, Verb, Disaster. It's between. I can't pick the last one. I'm not gonna lie. Hollow, Verb, Disaster. And I heard niggas, niggas like niggas. See, Rex is an asterisk with people because niggas like yo, Rex has been lately. But if niggas, Rex been battle rapping since fucking 13 years old so for course. me and what i know rex yeah and i know rex was the nigga all this time and even he just been on some bullshit lately because he don't you know he don't want to do that's why we fall out or we fell out we fall out a few times though a lot of times we fall out but that's that's because he run a real cousin too though so right. we be having like but i hate when the nigga just lazy so we fall out. So I'll be like, man, don't miss me. I don't hang, I'm not hanging on with you. Real shit. I'm I'm that's how I am. If we not aligned with the same goals, then I don't fuck if you my cousin or not. Nigga, you gonna do it, you not gonna fuck this train up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So his talent, he be letting his talent go to waste, and I don't like that shit, bro. So but Rex is definitely. That that nigga and in this setting, Rex will beat the shit out of somebody in this small little shit. He will he will destroy a nigga in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yo, I fuck with Rex outside the ring. Yo, out out outside the ring, out of a lot of niggas that I done ran into in this culture, man. He just give me that good real nigga vibe, man. He a good nigga at heart, man. So salute to him, man. Salute to him. Who is yours? My my Mount Rushmore. Is disaster arsenal. Ooh, that's what's up, man. Does disaster arsenal a verb lux? Now I'ma keep it real with you. You was my original lux. And one of my battle rap trap niggas argued me out of you and used Lux's Lion's Den and all of that shit to say, hold up, he might have did more for the culture than Mook based off of Wait, how could a nigga argue like you? How could a nigga argue you out of out of something like what's the criteria? This is the thing. I based my Mount Rushmore at the time, this was like two, three years ago. I based my Mount Rushmore off of the actual Mount Rushmore. So I looked at at the time I Googled what each motherfucker did to be on Mount Rushmore and then compare that to each battle rapper. So you were my George Washington. Yeah, you know I mean, and I still could say you my George Washington, but when the nigga broke down the whole uh Lions Den and he battled Mook back in the day and this, that, and the other, at the time I'm like, yo, damn, you you got me out of that one. I, I lost that debate. Wait, what do you mean Lions Den? Lions Den Lions Den was way after Smack DVD. Right, no, 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 no. What he's basically saying is because you gotta understand we not from Harlem, my nigga. So our original seeing of battle rap, other than what we was doing in the lunchroom and on the street corners where we at, was either Cassidy versus yeah. Three Way or E Ness versus J Mills on making the band for real. And then we immediately right after that, that's how we ran into Murder Mook. And then you battled nigga after nigga after nigga to put us on to what battle rap is today. So even still, you the originator, but anybody from that original Yo, era- Yo, I'm not understanding. Talk to me. I can't understand that because if you put, if you're talking about Mount Rushmore, you gotta be talking about impact on the coach, on the culture. Okay. 
there would be no URL if Murder Mook wasn't around. There would be no URL. So that that's an automatic, I don't give a fuck what you say, by default, you okay. might not like no nothing, but okay. by default, a nigga should be on a Mount Rushmore. You, it's not about who who might who might rap the best. That's why I'm saying disaster verb because I'm talking about impact on exactly. a culture or impact on a region. And you feel me? Yeah. Like, but if if there was no murder move, bro, we would not have URL. That's why I'm not. I don't understand. If there was no murder move, just wouldn't be getting paid the battle. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about here, bro? Bro, remember when niggas only niggas was trying to give niggas fifteen hundred, two thousand, and I'm like, nah, I want twenty five bands. Mm. Niggas thought I was out of my fucking mind to ask for that much money at that time. Okay, right now niggas is getting twenty on the regular. Yeah, that's a fact. Mid tier niggas could get a dub in a in a battle. You understand? So. Ooh. Who a twenty? Nah, mid. Go ahead. That 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 don't that don't matter. Go ahead. No, I'm not even saying on a regular, but I'm saying they might just get a dub out of somebody. And then, if you talk about it, every nigga who battle me get the most money they ever got. Hmm. Why is that? So how am I not on the Mount Rushmore? If I increase niggas' pay to get the most money they ever got. Hmm. Hey, listen, you ain't saying nothing wrong. My thing is this, though, Moo. Like I said, yeah. and, and what I'm saying is documented. So when I say my nigga argued me out of it, it's on the channel some way. Like, we could backtrack and find the actual video where this happened at. <clears throat> the problem is, yeah. the problem is, and, and, and we could kind of segue to my next point, if you not around to really remind motherfuckers of, of facts like that, it's easy to forget, you feel me? Like, the, the thing about Lux or the thing about Rex... Yeah, you know I mean, Rex might have stayed around too long, but niggas stuck around for us to remember. Whereas you allowed yourself for, to be spoke about without speaking up for yourself. Yeah, you know I mean, and and so I and even now I start right. to notice motherfuckers is like, yo, why do y'all fuck with him so much? What's going on? Who is he? Like, it's people who don't know who Mook is, and they first picture of you. Ain't no, I don't, I don't know about that. That's kind of crazy to me. You got to understand, everybody ain't, listen, we are not, I, listen, I'm going to speak for myself. I'm 25, but I'm in my 30s, you feel me? So, we we a certain age. I got young niggas. My cameraman is 24. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't, he wasn't around back then. He yeah, doesn't he know Murder Mook. He knows that we worship a Murder Mook. We, we praise a Murder Mook and give Murder Mook a prop. But he doesn't know. Oh, why. yeah, no, no, I know that, but I'm saying... No, I'm definitely un I'm definitely hip to the fact that niggas might not know yeah. M Murder Mook's material, but uh, to not know Murder Mook's name. Oh it's, no, no, it's no, 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 no! Motherfuckers hear the name, and that that's kind of the thing. They they hear the name and don't understand the story. Number one, I feel like because you you don't right. be around us, but like right now you active. I'm happy as shit. I I was on YouTube. I saw you on a motherfucking live. For, for my niggas podcast that don't never like they you did something big for them last night. Uh what podcast was you on last yeah. night? Yeah. It was it Three Letterman? Not not Three Letterman, not Angry Fan, but it was it was a smaller podcast you was live with. Oh. Uh Damn, um now that wasn't last night. That was a couple nights ago. I know what you talking about. It was three of them, right? Yeah, it was three of them. Yeah, and I'm like, yo. Yeah, you, I forgot the name of it, but yeah, no, those some cool dudes. Up. Get your bars up. Yeah, podcast. get your bars up. Shout yep, out to exact. them. Exactly. And I was like, yo, he really on here. He's they actually cool, out cool here dudes. talking to the, and for real, for real, I think that maybe that's all people wanted from you the whole time. The, the, you you killing shit in the ring was just an added bonus. We just want to feel like you, you fuck with us. I respect that. I, 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 I do. But I, I just was trying to get to do so much other shit because I know that's not going to pay all the bills. That's a fact. That wasn't going to pay. You got to remember at that at them times, it was like it you wasn't getting that kind of money. So if I got to put my energy because I'm I'm maturing, becoming a man at that time, you got to remember I'm I'm. I'm be, I'm 24, 25, 26 years old. So yeah. I'm 
Bills is Bills is getting, you know what I'm saying, and piling up. I got other things I want to do. I want to try to, I want to be, you know, a wealthy person. I want my whole family's family, family to have money. Fuck you yeah. feel me? I'm hustling. So I can't stay stuck in one thing. Hmm. That's my whole, that's, I never wanted to leave. I just said, I want this amount of money. And, and until I get this amount of money, I'm chilling. So I had to fall back just to get that, which, and it, and it did. So I felt like, all right, I was, I was right. But also I understand y'all's perspective as well. Like we don't want to hear none of that shit. We want what we want. And that's, that's the relationship when you a slave to the people. You a slave to the people. Once you become a, a public figure, you become a slave, bro, to the people. Mm. And you gotta respect that. Yeah. I don't like when niggas want to be famous and get rich and get money, and then they, they go on Instagram and be like, "This is my private life. Stay away from me, yo. You don't gotta do nah, nigga. Cause when it was when you ain't have nothing and you was begging for niggas, you couldn't wait for a nigga to be in your business. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm I don't none of that bothers me. It's just what what bothers me is when people don't understand the mature, like be, trying to become, trying to better yourself and evolve and take more steps. And you know what I mean? They, they always tell you not to have one hustle. Like, you feel me? That Like, I thought we knew that. Like, that's what I'm saying. It was only a dream. Now we're the liveest niggas on the scene. Chasing this paper and split with my team. Not stressing.